A Poison Tree by William Blake. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles, and with soft, deceitful wiles. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning glad I see, my foe outstretched beneath the tree. The poem is basically the story of a person who talks about his anger with his friend, and it eventually fades away. But he couldn't talk to his enemy about it, so he held his emotions inside. That ends up creating a metaphorical tree which contains a poison fruit, in that case an apple, that ends up killing the main character's foe. This tale explicit that communicating about our feelings is, indeed, the best way to handle them. So, this is one of my favorite poems, and it talks about anger and its consequences on a relationship which is something I can really relate to because I am a person who holds a grudge and I do have a difficulty when it comes to talking about my feelings or, or how I feel or even pardoning someone who's harmed me. Of course, I am working those psychological issues now, but they still give me a hard time. My favorite part of the poem, that is, the one that stuck to my head, is the third stanza because when he said he bore an apple bright, sounds like the fruit which represents the inner anger, it's not bad at all. Damn, it even sounds beautiful. And sometimes people think that keeping and, and peeling up those toxic feelings is the best solution to their problems. But what they don't know is that this solution might end up hurting the target of your rage, even more than if you just talked to them. The thing is, this type of behavior is really detestable when it comes to social manners, and you can end up leaving the person who behaves like that totally lonely, which is very, very sad. In my experience, the best way to handle these repressed feelings is practicing forgiveness, or talking to someone about it, or trying to distract yourself from it, or even just charging anger in some activity that appeals to you. The most important thing is not to let it consume you and turn you into a person that you don't want to be.